Hello, Hayes High teachers. This is Marie Henderson. In this video, we're going to look at enabling lockdown browser for your Canvas quiz. And so you can see here, I have created an example quiz that we can use for this demonstration. And over here at the left, I'm gonna go ahead and click on lockdown browser in my course navigation. If you don't see lockdown browser, you can come here to settings and in the navigation tab here in the middle, you need to click to enable it. And you'll find it down here under items that are hidden from students. And so for any item that's hidden from students, if you just click the three dots next to it, you would enable it. And then just remember that we're doing this right now for a lockdown browser before you come to the bottom and click to save. And so then when you get back out to your home screen, you should see lockdown browser in your course navigation. And so when you select it, the first time you come here, you have to authorize it. And so you just click the blue authorize button. And then there are all sorts of tools and resources here for getting started that you're welcome to explore. Or if you don't wanna see this menu again, you can click here in the bottom to not show this page again, and then continue to lock down browser. And you'll see a list of your quizzes here. And of course I only have one just for this example. And you need to click the down arrow next to the name of the quiz and select settings. And so the first thing you'll wanna do is to change it from don't require to require and then look here in your advanced settings. And so I'm gonna click advanced settings and then I have these five other choices. And so I can lock students into the browser until the exam is completed, which typically is one of the main reasons for using lockdown browser. And then if I want to, I can set a password that students would have to input to close the browser or to exit the exam early. My next option here is to allow students to take the exam with an iPad, but at Hayes High School, we don't need that feature. And then we have the option to allow access to specific external web domains. So for instance, if you want them to look at the National Geographic website while they're taking the quiz or test, you can click here and you can put in that web address as needed. I'm gonna uncheck that box for now. You can enable a calculator on the toolbar and you can enable printing from the quiz itself. And so once you've picked the things that best fit the testing environment you're trying to create, click here to save and close. And then you'll notice here at the far right that the not required changed to required and is now shown in green. And so now you've enabled lockdown browser for the quiz and your students will need to have lockdown browser installed on their device in order to complete that quiz. As always, if you have questions or need further assistance, please don't hesitate to reach out. Thanks and have a great day.